And now it's time for some Carousel of Progress. Gotta do those classic Disney attractions. I don't know about you guys, but I hate this uh, music blaring in Tomorrowland. It's really annoying, distracting, horrible, and copyrighted, so difficult to make videos. Just get rid of it. Hey everybody, welcome to WDW Prince in Walt Disney World. Thank you for joining me, and let's go! You know that I love classic attractions. I believe this is the only attraction in Walt Disney World that Walt Disney touched. Carousel of Progress was created in 1964 World's Fair. Rex Allen, the voice of father in the World's Fair attraction that also moved to Disneyland. And now that it's in Walt Disney World in Orlando, he does the voice of Grandpa. Watch it. Robert! Me! <laughs> Also, Walt Disney makes an appearance in this video, and here he is talking about creating this attraction for the World's Fair in New York. And will he be going home to his wife while he's doing it? Um, answer is no, <laughs> but maybe uh, he'll see her at the fair. So I, I'm fascinated with this video. I think it's a great little show to see before you get onto the attraction. And so let's go inside. Another reason why I like this attraction, it, it's for a good reason. It may not sound like it is, but it's a really relaxing place to sit, have a calm experience. So that's my tip. <laughs> if you want to relax and have a great show with great music, Carousel of Progress. So let's take a look at this first scene, turn of the century. And guys, quick question. What is your favorite character? Do you have a favorite character from this attraction? Would it be the dad right here? Because he... You know, it's pretty much the star of the show. You know I love details. I'm all about the details. The cookware, the oven, even his pipe, his clothing also, does look like it was something that would be worn at turn of the century. Now we're in the 20s. It's the 4th of July. What happened here is that uh, electricity was invented. The home is now electrical. And you see issues with the lights going on and off. There are lots of wires hanging from the ceiling. I think it's really interesting to see the Niagara Falls fan because probably tourism there was really booming at that time and still is. Now we are in the 40s at Halloween. So let's talk about the 40s and what occurred in the 40s. The rat race. People are working much more. They're driving to and from work. The appliances are larger. The, ref the fridge holds more food. So life has gotten much more centered around work. What else can we say about the scene? I like that jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> I, I don't know why. And dad looks he's a little bit older here. So this final scene is all about the future. So what were those games called back in the 80s? Um, I can't remember. And even computers, which aren't really around in that style anymore. So this scene could be updated and many people talk about that. You know what, this is the 90s here, I think in this scene, but who cares? What I find interesting about the Carousel of Progress is they kind of use holidays to take you from scene to scene until the end. I like that. Here we are at Christmas and guys, this is the longest running stage show in history of American theater. What other show is still playing since 1964? Of course it's animatronic actors, but it's the longest running show and that deserves respect and a high five. Hey guys, now I'm gonna take you to another attraction. Something that I really enjoy watching is the glass blowing demonstration. This is really fun to watch because it's live. This person is making many of the things that you can buy in the store, as you see, Christmas ornaments. I can't exactly explain to you how this is done, even though I've seen it many times. You have to go for yourself. These are original handmade pieces of glass that are sold in the store by the Arribas Brothers. That's the name of the company that, uh, that does this and has been doing it since they started selling this here. It's really great. I love this. And it does make it feel like Main Street. You know, it kind of brings you back in time a bit. Let's take the monorail over to Epcot. The monorail always gets me excited to go to Epcot. I love walking down the exit here because the anticipation starts to build for Epcot. I love it. But now I'm taking my blue magic band and entering Epcot. Here is Spaceship Earth, one of my favorite attractions at Epcot. So I've been doing some low-key uh, attractions at Magic Kingdom, like uh, Carousel of Progress, Swiss Family Treehouse. 
I love that attraction. Uh, I thought it was going to be really slow, but actually it was packed. But um, So here at Epcot, I'm probably going to continue the same thing. Just do uh, things like Spaceship Earth, things where I'm sitting down and relaxing because that's my mood today. And I always follow my mood. I never go against it. And I feel like shopping too. I bought some things this afternoon at Grand Floridian. And one of the first things I want to do is hit the gift shop uh, here at Epcot. And I want to buy some Tiki merchandise, see what they have. I'm moving when I get back to New York City into a new apartment and I want to uh, stock it up with lots of stuff. So I'm going to go shopping right now. So let's go. Have you guys ever noticed that mural before? It's the first time I'm seeing that mural. I've never seen it before. Where is it? It's right near Spaceship Earth. Um, Right near the main part, the mirrored part, right there. Can I say right there one more time? Hey guys, here's another tip for you. Um, I've always been curious if my SD card runs out of space and I need a new one, can I buy one at uh, Disney? So I went into the store here in Epcot, the camera store, and checked it out. They do have two. One is a four gigabyte and the other is an eight gigabyte. It doesn't say how fast they are. Eight gigabytes, about $30. Uh, long story short, it wouldn't be a great situation for me. So make sure you get your cards, SD cards, before you come to Disney. Unless, unless you want to settle for one of these low quality, expensive, small gigabyte cards. I am ready to throw some cash at Art of Disney. Let's go. Well, when I was here last, um, they had a lot of stuff that I wanted, and this trip they have nothing. They took out all the Tiki merchandise. Anything that's kind of unique is gone. I saw the Tiki merchandise at the Polynesian, so I'm gonna have to head back there before my trip is over, maybe even today, and buy some things there. Well, sorry Disney, I wanted to give you my money, but you didn't want to take it. Sometimes you just want to do something that you've never done before. It's nothing special, not an attraction. I've heard uh, at the Electric Umbrella they have a pretty cool semi-quiet private upstairs, which I've never seen, so I'm going to go look for that now. There is an upstairs, but it's closed. Wah, wah. Let's head over to World Showcase and see what's new there. What I like and what I don't care for. The Stave Church Gallery that used to be here, I always really enjoyed because I love learning about culture. Um, I love going to museums. And so I really liked this Stave Church. Now it's an exhibition for the inspiration for Frozen. That's about as much time as I'll spend there, if any. So let's move on. Now we're heading over to the new Moroccan restaurant, Spice Road Table. Mediterranean small plates. It's kind of like tapas. Anyway, um, I really like Moroccan food. I've had it many times. And so I'd like to just take a look at this brand new restaurant and see what I think. Here is the water wheel. I think it's beautiful. With the fireworks behind that, it must be phenomenal. It's a great place for solo travelers also. Just take up a seat at the bar, look at the water wheel, and watch some fireworks. I love this restaurant. I think it's beautiful. And this outside seating too. I like the chairs. I think they're nice, spaced apart nicely. This was a home run. And the store out front, it looks really good too. I mean, it looks kind of like a little town right here because you can go shopping. I guess that's a hidden Mickey. I'm so damn tired of that. Anyway, <laughs> moving on, no comment. Now that I'm hungry, let's head over to France for dinner, Chefs de France. This is a restaurant that I've never eaten at before. It's kind of like a bistro. It has a more uh, casual feeling than the restaurant above it. Take a look at the menu, bouillabaisse. Sounds really good and a glass of wine. So that's what I'm getting and let's see what it looks like. Very pleased with the presentation, and so let's try it, see what I think. And I love mussels, I love seafood. I'm sure they'll be very pleased with this meal, and I am. So WDW Prince recommendation, bouillabaisse at Chefs de France. And for dessert, I got the chocolate pastries with vanilla ice cream. Right out the window, you get a beautiful view of Illuminations, the fireworks show at Epcot. So it's a great choice if you wanna have a great meal and enjoy the fireworks. So let's move on and head out. I love these fiber optic sidewalks on the way out. 
because you get to see a great show. <laughs> this is like a finale as you're leaving Epcot through Future World, in my opinion. And I always kind of stop here and, you know, take a look and just enjoy this. And so this winds up the visit to Epcot for tonight. Let's head out. But I'm not done yet because I never give up. I don't just quit and go home. Let's go back to Magic Kingdom. Hey guys, I'm back in Magic Kingdom. I'm gonna do two of my favorite attractions, Big Thunder Mountain and Haunted Mansion. Now it's time to play when everyone's home and there are no lines. I'm gonna keep going for the next hour, see as, do as many rides as I can. Thank you guys for coming with me. Click the like if you like this video and subscribe to get videos as soon as they're done. You'll be the first one to watch them. And peace out, big kiss, bye.